Alrighty guys, good to have you back on another video of Neon Reincarnation and today we have the release of chapter 6 of the Sun and Moon arc so the story of Hina and Yusuke finally comes to an end and before we go into the video I want to remind you that we don't spoil anything here, okay? Nothing about their story, nothing about the EX stories. We want to respect the wishes of the producers of New Reincarnation because in the end, the story is a unique selling point. So we don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Everyone should have the um, opportunity to experience it on their own. So, but with that out of the way, let's have a look at the EX weapons and the EX costumes of the new characters because they are pretty exciting okay and we're gonna start with Udil's weapon first because he was the first character and there you go here are the final stats 2800 attack is not too shabby but then again it's a two-hand sword so this is a little bit higher as for the weapon type the first skill is 110 percent times four so and increases 50 percent your wind damage pretty standard for a weapon one skill and the second skill is gilded fleet foot so that is actually the same weapon skill as ex griff gun the damage is based off of the combo length and um yeah, pretty unfortunate I would say because we already have this weapon skill on an EX weapon that is also wind type, but it is what it is. You, we, we can't really change it, okay? Then the abilities, the first one is haste as we know it from EX weapons and the second one is vigor 20% which is actually pretty nice, but it's also again the third two-hand sword that has vigor on it, so nothing really new here. Overall, I would say it's a decent two-hand sword. Then again, this skill is a bit unfortunate, but it's just another option, okay? I mean, of course, it would have been better if it's like a, I don't know, water weapon or so with fleet foot um, this based off of combo length but we can't do anything about that okay a little bit more variation would be nice but it is what it is in the end I would say it's it's a decent EX weapon so welcome to the party and now we go to the fire spear a lot of people guessed that this spear would be fire and yes you're right the stats are looking pretty good especially for a spear at 2400 attack that is great let's have a look at the weapon skills okay so the first thing here is as we know it 100 percent times five and 50 percent more fire damage as for 15 seconds and then the second one is an inherited ambush 100% times 5 and increases your crit rate by 50% for 15 seconds so this is quite similar to EX Marie's sword which gives AOE crit rate to the whole party and this is only for the wielder themselves this type of buff is not that useful unfortunately so we just treat it as a 5 hit times 100% damage which is still pretty good at 500% damage okay so there is that then we go to the weapon abilities the first one is haste 10% decreased cooldown and then we have ambush okay quite a few people guessed ambush here as well and now we have a fourth weapon that has 20% ambush which helps quite a lot getting to that desired 100% crit rate so a very good weapon for newer players okay so that might change my advice on where to spend your first zeniths but i will have to give that a second thought before i yeah basically give you my updated advice on that and that should do it for the weapon so next thing and this is basically more exciting than the weapons in my opinion at least is the characters and we start with Udil here first as well reborn usurper let's have a look at his character's skill first 250 percent times four and increases damage of two times or more chains by 30 percent for 30 seconds so this is a self pursuit buff not like with new year's feel where she buffs the whole party um, so 
it will deal pretty good damage i think with this um pursuit then we have vigor as the first ability and ice water guard like we know it from other ex characters he's sitting at 6300 attack and with awakenings that should do about 7100 or so um yeah his costume is actually pretty nice i don't have abstract utils so this will be my best four star costume of him as of right now and um with this character skill i guess he's able to deal quite good damage um nice self pursuit there and a forehead character skill is not too shabby at all so overall i'm giving a good on that and before we go to the next character, let's have a look at his um, outfit real quick here because I think we should appreciate what details they put in for that. So Udil here doesn't really look like a thief anymore in my opinion, more like a prince, you know, with all the gold and black. Um, and I also really, really like the weapon here. I mean, look at that looks more like an abyssal version almost overall in my opinion very good design both the character and the weapon they look pretty dope there is a close-up at util once more and then let's go to the other ex character which is Serafa. once i saw her design i was over the moon i mean how gorgeous she looks is beyond my mind um, but we'll have a look at her outfit in just a second. But before we want to do that, we have a look at what she offers to us. And the first thing is the character skill, 330% times free. And all allies attack up by 20% for 30 seconds. So she's some sort of a support, um, increasing the attack by 20%, while also dealing close to 1000 damage which is actually not that bad unfortunately it's only a free hit but we get the attack buff as well and she also has two character abilities right from the start the first one is fatal crit hit damage up by 20 percent actually pretty nice and whirlwind guard decrease wind damage taken by 25 percent so overall pretty good her third passive is vigor and with awakenings she should be at over 7000 attack as well so pretty good support with fatal and um, increasing attack up so this is like kill two birds with one stone here she's pretty good for not so well developed accounts especially if you are early on in the game you don't have a lot of supports and now we also want to take a look at her costume here um, I mean yeah I'm out of words um, she she looks so beautiful um, she lost his mask as well which a lot of people liked about the fortune teller but um, yeah her EX costume is um, pretty much open-minded to everyone <laughs> let's say it this way I just noticed that the spear has um, or is cut off at the end there and it's the same with Judah as well so that is a nice touch about their weapons um yeah and um there we have it okay this is serafa uh, the new character in near reincarnation and this should do it okay so again no spoilers here regarding any aspect of the stories i will delete any comments that cover any aspect of the topic of the story but I would like to get some comments in the end as well so let me know what you think about the new weapons the new units are you excited about them do you have unlocked them as well um, if I should give recommendation go for Zarafa first because um, the spear is actually pretty good 20% crit rate helps a lot but other than that I wish you a nice rest of your day stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one peace